I are keenly following the discussions at the summit and look forward to getting valuable insights and new lessons from you. The topic of the summit this year is especially relevant. The cultural and creative sector is increasingly critical in driving forward the socioeconomic agendas of nations. It is especially significant for us in the UAE as we focus on the diversification of our economy. Equally relevant in this context are the linkages between the cultural and creative industries, CCI, and the sustainable development goal as defined by the United Nations. Although the SDGs do not include a standalone goal for culture, the cultural and creative sector is crucial for the realization of the SDGs, especially those pertaining, pertaining to well-being, education, employment, economic growth, innovation, industry, production, and consumption. We believe that raising the contribution of CCI to the national and global GDP lead to faster realization of the SDGs. At the outset, let us acknowledge the double disruption scenario we have in the cultural sector globally. On, on the one hand, the process of automation has had a significant impact on the way we manage human capital. In the wake of increasing automation, the role of human capital is being redefined and reassessed. On the other hand, the disruption caused by the COVID-19 pandemic has resulted in economic decline, a sudden shift to virtual platforms, and significantly reduced possibility for in-person exchange. This disruption is particularly felt in sectors dependent on large numbers of visitors, such as museums, cinemas, theaters, and so on. At the same time, these challenges present us with opportunities for growth and innovation. The global pandemic has brought together governments and businesses to address shared challenges. We have seen a wide range of new partnerships and new ways of producing and showcasing creativity. Most importantly, we have had the opportunity to use digital technologies, not as an add-on or alternative option, but as the only available option to keep the culture going. We must build on this momentum to ensure that the CCI sector remains a priority. In the process, we also need to widen and deepen our engagement with all partners in the sector. Government agencies, particularly regula regulatory bodies, need to anticipate unseen or unforeseen situations. A proactive mode instead of a reactive one is the key to achieving this goal. A summit like this is the ideal platform to consolidate the diverse range of experiences and ideas to ensure the growth of sector and foster cooperation among stakeholders to implement these new insights. In doing so, we must also view the cultural sector with an economic mindset. This is now extremely important. If the contribution of the sector to global GDP is 3%, we must ask ourselves, what are the required steps to increase or double the rate? Approaching the issue with an economic mindset will help us readjust our priorities, ensuring integrated, holistic, and results-oriented interventions. In addition, attention must be paid to all stages of creative industry value chain, from creation to consumption. This includes intellectual property rights, policies on ease of doing businesses, status of exports and creative goods and services, role of R&D in the creative sector, contribution of non-for-profit organization, among many other aspects. Most importantly, we must also pay close attention to education and training opportunities to ensure that a new generation is talents is nurtured. In the UAE, we have made significant strides to put the country's CCI sector on a growth trajectory. As we celebrate the International Year of Creative Economy for Sustainable Development 2021, we very much look forward to working alongside our partners to make sure the CCI sector continues to grow. 
We are working on implementing several measures aimed at stimulating growth in the cultural sector. The core objective behind all the measures is to set up the foundations to aggregate, measure, and nurture the sector in the UAE and to ensure the provision of required framework and policies for a thriving cultural sector. We're also actively pursuing international partnership and earlier this week signed a memorandum of understanding with Indonesia for expanding cooperation in the CCI sector. And I'm very excited to announce on this public forum that we will be hosting the second World Conference on Creative Economy in December within Expo Dubai this year and invite the audience to attend. Over the past few decades, the UAE has developed a strong cultural infrastructure, established the region's highest concentration of media free zones and homegrown regional and international cultural events. In 2018, the UAE officially adopted the terminology of culture and creative industries in the Cultural Agenda 2031. We have been building on this momentum to bolster efforts across the sector and ensure cooperation among federal and local players. In 2018, the UAE launched a talent support policy for the cultural sector aimed at supporting and nurturing talent. It put artists, creatives at the heart of our efforts. The formation of the Cultural and Creative Industries Council was another important step. It aimed to consolidate the efforts made in the UAE at multiple levels and in both the public and the private sectors. Its members comprise government entities, private sector companies, and non-profit organization. The council brings together key players from the federal and local levels and serves as an interactive platform for collective planning and inclusive decision-making. Another decisive step was to establish at the Ministry of at the Ministry of Culture is the culture and creative industry sector. With the mandate of setting and aligning the creative economy agenda at national level. In addition, the mandate of the ministry was expanded to include media and youth, ensuring better cooperation across the various players in the cultural domain. Another significant achievement is the establishment of the 10-year golden visa system, which grants long-term visa to creatives and is expected to boost the sector. Furthermore, we are working on increasing the number of international scholarships for cultural studies and research and are undertaking an assessment of arts education in school curricula, vocational education, and university programs. We are now in the final stages of preparing a 10-year CCI strategy for increasing the contribution of cultural sector to the country's GDP. The strategy, which comprises eight objectives and almost 40 initiatives, will be launched later this year. It will set the national economic policy for CCI. It will become our reference roadmap to make the creative sector among the top economic sectors in the UAE. All these efforts mean little if we do not have a regular and proper mechanism for measuring economic impact consistently and at all levels. Although we have initial figures on GDP contribution and employment of the CCI sector in the UAE, we are currently working on finalizing a partnership with a specialized international organization to help us put in place a holistic economic impact measurement framework. This will be done at both federal and local levels to enable us to base all of our future economic support policies on facts and numbers. In short, we have embarked on an ambitious journey to boost the growth potential of the cultural sector in the UAE. We have also taken effective steps to support the cultural community that suffered economic hardship during the pandemic. Public cultural institutions and big private players alike rely on an interconnected an interdependent network of freelancers and micro firms which provide creative content, goods of ser and services. To cushion this ecosystem against economic hardship, we launched the National Creative Relief Program last year. The program helped many creative individuals and small and medium enterprises in the cultural sector overcome some of the hardships caused by the pandemic. The program provided financial grants to freelancers, small businesses, 
and entrepreneurs in the fields of cultural and creative industries, with a total of 4.6 million dirhams. This was the first of its kind program in the region to support cultural production during the pandemic. In the UAE, increased digitization, coupled with emerging technologies such as virtual and augmented realities, could create new forms of cultural experiences. Disseminations and businesses, business models with a huge market potential. I am confident that we are on the path to exponential growth in the cultural and creative sectors in both economic and civilizational terms. I am optimistic that the future for the global creative economy is bright and promising. I wish the summit and all of you all the success. Thank you.